Good evening. We have an update now to an Eyewitness News exclusive that we broke earlier this month. DNA testing has now confirmed that a West Virginia man raped and killed a Canadian teenager in 1975. Reporter Leslie Rubin was the only reporter there as that suspect's body was exhumed in Putnam County exactly three weeks ago today. She's live now with reaction from the victim's family, who's waited nearly 50 years from the news they got today. Leslie? Dave, Gina, a 100% match. Those were the words today from a team of investigators in Canada who have been working to solve this case since 1975. Sharon Pryor was raped and killed when she was 16 years old, kidnapped while walking to get pizza with her friends in a tiny neighborhood in Quebec. Now her family knows with complete certainty who took her life and it's opening a whole new door for unsolved cases here in West Virginia. The solving of Sharon's case will never bring Sharon back, but knowing that her killer is no longer on this earth and cannot kill anymore brings us to somewhat of a closure. It's been more than 48 years since Doreen and Maureen Pryor saw their sister Sharon. And every day since that Easter weekend in 1975, they've had a single goal, find the person who took her life when she was just 16. Life has not been easy for us since then, but Sharon has given us strength for the past 48 years and especially today. Their mother, Yvonne, who's 85 years old, sat and listened as detectives investigating her daughter's murder said today the words she thought she may never hear. The case was officially closed. When you got the results back, you were able to see that 100% match. You probably already expected you were going to see that, but I'm sure it felt a little different seeing it in writing. Yeah. This was your guy. What was that like? It was amazing. Uh, we were uh, very excited. Uh, and as soon as we uh, had the result, uh, we uh, went to see uh, the family to, uh, to, to, to share with them uh, the good news. And uh, also the, the results are loud and clear. Uh, it is a pretty uh, strong match. Uh, and what I mean by that is that uh, uh, there is um, 41 billion uh, times more uh, chance that uh, the killer is Franklin Romine instead of any uh, anyone else. The exhumation of Franklin Romine from his grave at a Putnam County cemetery proving to be the final piece of a complicated puzzle, an investigation that never had Romine on the radar of Longwell police until last year. Romine, who was born in Huntington in 1946 and lived to be just 36, lived the life of a criminal in and out of jail since he was a teenager. He spent what ended up being the last years of his life in prison in Moundsville for the rape of a woman in Parkersburg. The stunning nature of the Canadian case, a DNA hit on a man who never gave a DNA sample in his lifetime in a crime that took place in a pre-DNA era, wasn't lost on anyone. Your miracle of science gave the detectives the proof they needed. Now the work here begins as Romine's profile heads to the FBI as the agency works to see if he's the answer other families may be waiting for. I already uh, received some phone calls from a uh, cold case investigator uh, from uh, West Virginia and uh, Ohio and things like that. So uh, we will be uh, more than happy to uh, work with them and return the favor. Coming up Sunday on Eyewitness News at 10 and 11, I've put together a special report that explores what we know about Franklin Romine's crimes here in West Virginia and what police are doing to see if he could be connected to unsolved rape and murder cases here. Now you can catch up on all of our reporting on this. You can scan the QR code up on your screen right now to read everything that we've reported over the last month, including going through web exclusive videos, pictures and documents that are only available on WCHSTV.com. Reporting live in the studio, Leslie Rubin, Eyewitness News.